I am mesmerized by the sparkliness. But I, I must continue my trek through the game somehow. I, but I, I can't take my eyes off the sparkles. I'm gonna try my best to hit C up. Okay, I did it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Obviously, there's this right off the bat here. So let's plop on over here and get those jiggy pieces in there. I'm gonna get a little tutorial here. If you wanna cancel out jiggy pieces, press the down C button. But if the picture is complete, they're permanently locked in there forever. So yeah, there's my C down. In the sea down. Okay, yeah, you get it. <laughs> Next world treasure joke. <laughs> we have not seen this part of Gruntil's lair yet, by the way. But we're gonna see it soon enough. We got some stuff to explore around these parts here, starting with we got this little enemy here. We're gonna see a bunch of these in different colors all through the lair. But basically, they're gruntlings, and the, the, they're, the different colors indicate their toughness, basically. This is the weakest version of them. And what is this thing? Hmm. 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 Interesting. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So, as you can tell, we're kind of stuck at this moment in time, at this world. Except for this door, and the door up. The slope, not so. I'm, I was just joking around. <laughs> There's no stuckness. I know this game like the back of my hand. So basically, these cauldrons here match colors. I got a mumble token there. You match the colors. Well, we're gonna find other ones along the way as we go. But basically, uh, you'll be able to get warp points throughout Guntilda's lair, and it'll make it much, much quicker getting around this place, especially if you should have to, you know, save and quit the game, and you, know, you have to walk back up through the lair and whatnot. So yeah, they just save you a whole lot of trouble. Alright, I'm gonna save these these holes over here for later. I'll just put it that way. Uh, there's one up, up above, and then there's one down below, but I'm gonna keep those just for later. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh no, I need 180 notes! Oh no! No! What blasphemy is this? Ah oh, man, looks like I'm gonna have to go to another world and collect some more notes. I'm gonna go down this way here, cuz... I'm gonna do some more exploration. Uh, how did I pass through that egg with... Ah, forget it. <laughs> ah! I cannot get the eggs for the life of me. I'll come and get back and get the rest, because I'm gonna run out of air by the time I... <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. We got ourselves a little secret over here. There is an extra life there. And I know offhand. I'm gonna take a peek see around the perimeter here. Oh, look at that! It's Brentil again! Remember to write down the fun facts! Her nickname was Jelly Belly! <laughs> Alright, what else you got? Putrid Parrot Puke is her favorite smell. Ooh, delicious! Finally, favorite color, gruesome green. Remember that. Remember that. Any secrets? No? Okay, well, over here, you're gonna see that there is something that we can do nothing about right now. But it appears to be a puzzle for a cook clock wood. Which is something way, way later in the game. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> And yeah, be sure to get that mumble token as it'll make your life easier. That's mainly what I came down through here for, uh, along with the Brentilda tips for the future. So yes, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna skip those eggs. I take way, way too long when I'm trying to collect stuff underwater. <laughs> it's just, just think about the walkthrough, PK Gown. Just think about the pacing. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the next world is. Treasure Trove Cove is right there. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a peek see around this room just for ah, just for the fun of it. Yeah! If you don't if you can't tell what this room is, it's basically like a movie set type place with all sorts of painted on detailing and stuff like that. Hello there, little feather. A red feather. Do you? But Kazooie doesn't know how to fly. Even though she's a bird. Somehow. <laughs> anyway, let's go up here now and take a peek see here. This cannon is something for later on in the actual world we're gonna need a Gruntilda switch for. So remember that 
thing for later. Let's see what's behind here. Nothing? Oh, okay. So it looks like we are okay to go in the next world and begin! Dang you, graphical glitch of the emulator. <laughs> so what do we have? Ahoy, yes! The speed treasure trove cove world number two. Let's get collecting two new moves. It's a Jinjo right off the bat, but be careful getting this Jinjo. Don't say I didn't warn you because there's a shark. You don't see it, but you will when you get in the water. There it is. <laughs> it's Snacker. Oh, uh, he knocked me out of the water. That was just a bad place for it to spawn. And oh, I I forgot to introduce that crab. I I'm so sorry. I, I I vaporized it before I could actually introduce it. I I'm shamed. It is snippet. Yes, yeah, snippet. Get it? Snip like a scissors and okay, it's in a better position now. Get under that and get the Jinjo. Yeah, you can swim a little bit faster. Well, I mean, about the same pace. Excuse me. Um, as long as you are. Um, just like going and not being obstructed by anything, but make sure that you get that Jinjo first, because if that's the last Jinjo you get, and the Jiggy appears there, you're gonna have to go underwater twice, <laughs> and you, that will not make you happy. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go and get one of the new moves first, by going up to here. Oh, by the way, uh, this, this critter here will normally take two hits if you attack it that way, but if you do... Yeah, that, ye old ground pound, you'll be a much happier camper to defeat it a lot faster. And anyway, let's go up top here. Oh no, don't be sad, I'll be down to deal with you in just a second. There's a mumble token under there, by the way. And down over here, I'm just gonna let my slide myself... I wanted to collect the notes stylishly by sliding down the side, but I failed. Um, Jinjo is up here, don't forget about the Jinjo. Hello, bottles. See that flight pad over there? Yes, yeah, see that over there? Right side? Yeah, it's a flight pad. <laughs> Better be easy. <laughs> Simple enough, even for you, bird brain. <laughs> Just stand on a flying disc and press A. 25 red feathers to get us started. And we are golden. Heck yeah. I'm gonna go first off. Right flopped over to this... Well, actually, maybe I'll go... Uh, I don't know where I should go first, because the dialogue's playing, and I'd like to get some sort of stuff going around. Uh, oh, shoot! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Like, I, I guess I'll do this first, just because I'm right here. <laughs> Man, you sound like you could use a gas X. <laughs> hmm. Well, um... Uh, but don't you sail the open... What would you do if your ship sank? Oh, forget it. Game logic. Game logic. Oh, okay, so let's start out by going in here. There's two segments to this... Well, I guess you could say sunken ship, but it's not really sunken. But yeah, there's this right over here. And see that pile of gold there? That is something that I've got to get along with... Well, I don't have to get the mumble token, but it'll help. But I gotta get the notes, the mumble token, and the old gold. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. And now I'm done with this side. Notice that there's another wing to that. Well, there is a secret entrance to that other side, which I am going to flop over right now. It is, it is, it is at the puddle of water on this side, yes. Go down under here, and you can faintly see the open door from a distance. So, okay, let's get ourselves lined up to get ourselves some notes. Carefully turn around. Uh, is there any other interest besides the gold in here? I don't think there is, if I recall correctly, but I'm gonna just, just gonna be sure so I don't miss anything. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's just those two thingajig- well, five thingajiggers, but, you know, two sets of things that I need to grab. Okay. Okay, so now that we got the gold, we can go up, back, and around and give him the gold, because that's all the gold that we need. Although, we could just take it for ourselves. Maybe that's worth more than musical notes. Who knows? Anyway, just approach him with the gold, and he'll... Boy, Banjo will throw it up there for some reason. I don't know why. 
And woo, Jiggy! Happy days! Happy days! Jiggy Jiggy! Happy days! Yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah! Alright, now I'm gonna go flop around this way to get those notes up there. There's some notes in a bunch of trees on this world, and the trees are kind of weird to walk on, because, yeah, you got you just kind of drop at the same time you can walk up them too at the same time, so you're kind of flip-flopping around the whole area. Oh, this is an interesting enemy here. If it hits you, it'll actually knock out some of the stuff in your inventory. It's called Yum Yum, and it'll actually eat the stuff in your inventory if it knocks stuff out. Look at that. See that? I'll let it eat. Oh, it, it went in the water. Well, I was gonna say, I'll let it eat to show you what it does when it eats, but uh, that, that it just all went all in the water and it just ruined my plan completely. <laughs> Alright, I I want you to hit me over here if, if that if you could please. That would be very helpful here. Come on, turn, turn. You can you can do it! There we go! Now eat one of those things. You can do it! You can do it! Mmm, delicious! <laughs> But yeah, so it'll steal your stuff and eat it permanently. So don't let it do that normally. Just saying. And here is the other move. Remember these? Remember these pads? We're gonna learn how to use those pads! Heck yeah, it's the shock jump spring! <laughs> mm, don't worry, yeah, it's, it's all well. All is well. <laughs> So it's all of Kazooie's work. I don't know how she's gonna pop her legs out of that backpack, though. I don't see any holes for her feet, unless it's those black lines that are over there. Hey, thanks for filling my health. I appreciate it. Heck yeah! New moves are all learned. So, okay, this is how it works. Whee! You can get yourself a mumble token for the future. Uh, I'm gonna go over on this side first. Whee! That's another way of using it. <laughs> And if you'd like, you can collect the stuff up out in the skies there. It's all up to your choice. Because that's kind of optional and they're kind of kind of troublesome to get time-wise. Uh, hello there. Yeah! There we go, and I don't know why I collected that. Carefully get the notes. You don't want to come back up here twice. Well, we actually will have to come back up here a second time for something, but we're actually going to have a flight pad when we come back up here a second time. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go and plop over to this side now, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Heck yeah. I'm just trying to divide and conquer the world, I guess you could say. With as much efficiency as I possibly can. Why did I do a flap flip jump when I had needed that to get up there? I don't know, but that is okay. Um, 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 actually what I should do now is head over to this side and start clearing out that. Uh, I should get these notes before I forget, otherwise I'll probably regret it. Because sometimes I forget where I left notes in a tree thinking I'm gonna come back later to get them and I forget where I was supposed to come back later to get them, and then I am sad face. Uh, I'll save those notes for later though. I will actually have to come back through there a little bit later. Hello there, Bucket. Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. Uh, huh. Well, I guess I could, and this is where we're gonna actually need to use the poot. Yep. <laughs> and do another poot for good measure. Hooah! Heck yeah! It is patch, and now, with the power of, I guess, spooning out the water, we can, yeah, destroy the mine as well. <laughs> yeah, that mine is called Shrapnel, they do a crap ton of damage. What's with the freeze? That was weird. <laughs> well, that's okay, though. But yeah, those mines do a ton of damage, the shrapnels, so be very careful with them. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Can I not get up there without flying? Oh, come on. You're telling me that... Hold on. <laughs> oh, come on. Can I, like, get these without having to fly up there? Because that would be kind of kind of sucky if you ask me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just have to kind of manipulate where I was standing on the ground, I guess. All right, so the sandcastle here. This is the site of a lot of things. A lot of secret things in the game, let's put it that way. But I'm only going to do the one puzzle here for now. There's this black snippet. And it's a pretty powerful snippet. Well, okay, it's more so in the health department. It's basically a regular snippet, except more durable. So the puzzle is that we've got to spell Banjo-Kazooie on the floor tiles. So let's get this going here. And we cannot use 
the same letters twice, so beware of that. And uh, yeah, and let's see where the K is. I always forget where the K is. There it is. Because uh, I think it's I forget where the K is because it's so out of the way. <laughs> it's you know the camera's pretty pretty much covering the thing. Uh, we we're, we're where am I missing? The, oh, Z was right there. <laughs> Z. Oh, oh, and I'll show you right here. See, you cannot use the same letter twice. You gotta go to another letter. Oh, oh. I and E victory. Woo! Uh, will you now? Will you really be able to? I highly doubt that. You're just you're just a regular enemy for the most part. <laughs> And Woo! so yeah, for the future, remember where this sand castle is because we're gonna need it for some mid to late game stuff, and especially for some post game stuff. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go over to Hermie the Hermit Crab. I mean, it, not Hermie the. <laughs> I'm thinking of some other game. It's Nipper. And, uh, we're gonna go and, uh, oh, this isn't where I'm thinking of that something is in the water. It's closer to Nipper, actually. Oh, we're gonna see here. I just want to get this out of the way because it's kind of a risky one. <laughs> I think it's around this corner. Um, I just want to see here. Yeah, there it is. Right down there. Um, now the idea of this is you're supposed to kill the shark before attempting that by attracting him to the land and whatnot, and then shooting eggs at him. But it, it does not really... Um, I just triggered the boss battle, didn't I? Well, that's fine, I'll do that first. <laughs> this is Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. <laughs> Yo, come on now, have a be don't be a spoiled sports. Just have some fun with it and help us get some jiggies. Well, anyway, after four clips of its claws, back off. One, two, three, four. Back off. One, two, three, four. And attack for once more. And it's gone. <laughs> and now we can go inside its shell. That's, uh, that's quite the boss, huh? <laughs> now, the game, this game isn't really known for having very difficult bosses for the most part. Anyway, let's go through the sea old spiral shell. You can't see this from the outside, but there's actually- Oh! I forgot you guys are in here. But there are crap- I mean, but there are holes in the ceiling here. And, yeah. Um, but anyway, I came here for the jiggy. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna go and exit here and hopefully try and pull off getting that honeycomb piece. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe. Um, 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 let's see here. Now I gotta attract the shark. Come on, get over here. I mean, I, I can do it when I have full health, just by taking damage, but it's not, it's not the intended way of doing it. Fine, I'll just do it this way. It's not coming around. Yep, here it comes. I'm gonna take some damage because I'm gonna get stuck in the corner. And, yep, there it is. <laughs> eh, it's okay, though. Not that big of a deal or anything. As long as you do it at good enough health, you'll be just fine. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna go... And, uh, by the way, these enemies right here, they're known as lockups. And they contain stuff inside them. Do not hit their teeth. Uh, I hit their teeth. <laughs> I let myself float a little bit at the top and push my way in. This one has eggs. You can't usually see what's inside them before you go in there, but there's always goodies inside of it, basically, before you go uh, in there and whatnot to be able... To, I mean, so that you'll know that it's always worth going inside them, basically. And now I'm going around to collect these notes, just because. And whoa, 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 whoa! I almost slipped off the edge there. Now, what I'm gonna do here is, remember that I, w that I said that there was some stuff over and underneath this arch here? Well, I'm gonna go and do the left one here, because that left one is a pretty easy jiggy. We just gotta deal with another lockup, and there's also a little bit of funny dialogue to go along with this, so... Just hang out here. Oh, it's me Gruntilda's booty! Touch it if you dare! I dare- OH NO! 
That's... That's very unfortunate. Because here comes Sharky! <laughs> that's okay, though. Oh, such sad face. Maybe I should have did that from the side rather than the front. It would have been a little bit safer that way. Anyway, there's another flight pad right there, so I can flip-flop around there. Nice and quick-like. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it from the side this time. Just so I don't get, nick get nicked off the edge. Yeah! I can't see myself doing the victory dance. <laughs> not anymore! Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's not yours anymore, Gruntilda. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. Ow! I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I finish off this world. And I gotta, you know, kind of get myself back here to continue my trip. Well, actually, I need to get myself back up on those boxes, come to think of it. Oh, you know what? You know what? Just just for the sake of... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to take any chances. I don't want to lose my notes. Okay, ending off the part here. <laughs> hope you enjoyed. See you then.